year in Europe, approximately 33,000 cases of cervical cancer are diagnosed. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is responsible for cervical cancer, and in Europe, for an estimated 163,000 high-grade dysplasias, 550,000 low-grade dysplasias, and 250,000 cases of genital warts. Now there is an opportunity to help protect against papillomavirus, the major cause of all these diseases. Gardasil is indicated for the prevention of cervical cancer caused by papillomavirus types 16 and 18, responsible for 75% of cases of cervical cancer in Europe. In clinical studies, Gardasil was effective against high-grade dysplasia of the cervix and vulva caused by types 16 and 18, as well as low-grade cervical dysplasia caused by types 6, 11, 16 and 18, and genital warts, 90% of which are caused by papillomavirus types 6 and 11. The human papillomavirus has an outer shell or capsid comprised of the major capsid protein L1 and the minor capsid protein L2. It's the L1 protein that stimulates the major antibody response in humans. Within the human papillomavirus capsid is the viral DNA. Gardasil is made of virus-like vaccine particles, bioengineered from only L1 proteins. These vaccine particles are empty shells, containing no viral DNA, and are therefore not capable of causing infection or HPV-related diseases. However, because they're made of L1 protein, the vaccine particles are able to mimic the virus and elicit an antibody response. In creating the vaccine, purified L1 proteins produced in yeast cells come together to form pentamers, which then self-assemble to form empty particles that closely resemble the papillomavirus particle. Gardasil contains four vaccine particle types, each composed of L1 proteins of papillomavirus types 6, 11, 16 or 18. A proprietary adjuvant is added to enhance immunogenicity. When injected intramuscularly, the vaccine particles are recognized as foreign by a variety of cells, including antigen-presenting cells, APCs, which engulf and process them. The APCs then travel through the lymphatic system to lymph nodes. Here the antigen is presented to naive T-helper cells, triggering T-cell activation. B-cells also process the vaccine particles, and when they subsequently encounter T-helper cells, cytokines stimulate their differentiation into plasma cells and memory B cells. The plasma cells secrete high levels of antibodies specific to the papillomavirus types targeted by the vaccine. Some of these antibodies are capable of neutralizing human papillomavirus. Leaving the lymph nodes, antibodies travel in the bloodstream throughout the body. There are several hypothesized mechanisms for the protective activity of Gardasil. One mechanism is that the neutralizing antibodies travel to the basal epithelium of the cervix where they intercept, bind and neutralize the invading virus, directly preventing infection while also facilitating elimination of the virus by macrophages. Another mechanism is that the neutralizing antibodies travel to the cervical secretions where they may directly bind to papillomavirus, preventing infection. Given in three doses at zero, two and six months, the Gardasil vaccine elicits a robust antibody response. In clinical trials, antibodies to papillomavirus declined until month 24 and then stabilized at or above the levels following natural infection with papillomavirus. Because of the very high efficacy of Gardasil in clinical trials, it has not been possible to establish a minimum antibody level that protects against clinical papillomavirus disease. In addition, it's postulated that after immunization with Gardasil, immune memory is established via memory B cells. This results in a strong and rapid increase in antibodies directed against the virus when infectious papillomavirus is subsequently encountered. In a follow-up study, Gardasil has demonstrated immune memory for at least up to five years. Gardasil, the world's first cervical cancer vaccine, heralds an exciting new opportunity to prevent cervical cancer and before and beyond cervical cancer, other diseases caused by human papillomaviruses.